But the other point that is getting activated through the month of a whole month of April is the, um, I'll call it an asteroid, even though it's not really an asteroid, is this point Eris, E-R-I-S. And first I just have to say, I know some of you, your astrology is minimal. Don't even worry about it. If, if, if you're sitting there going, what are all these words? Just go with the essence of what I'm talking about, because the essence of this is that the goddess Eris, she is an archetype of the divine feminine. She is the warrior. And what she embodies, she's, I didn't even notice until yesterday, she is at 25 degrees Aries right now in the sky. So she is getting activated along with everything else we're talking about, this energy of stepping into the inner divine warrior is on fire. It's so alive right now. And even when you look at things like the the different, I don't want to get into the politics of this, but when you look at these animating characters of like suddenly, you know, the abortion rights are imperiled and suddenly all these other, that the ways that these are animating people to take the energy back regarding the power of the feminine. This is what's happening right now. And April is like the doorway for this. April is the doorway of starting to come into this energy. And one of the things about Eris, we'll get into her more on some of the other calls. Some of you who, who were around in 2021 probably remember I talked about her a lot in 2021 because she was really activated then and she was really activated like right as me too was uh just bursting open you know she comes into these times of like enough that is enough stop behaving like you know you're a dependent infant and come into your power that's her message and one of the things with with Eris is that she was discovered in 2005. And before her discovery, when you look at the main uh, astrological symbols, you had the moon as a feminine symbol, meaning motherhood on one level. And then you had Venus as a feminine symbol, meaning the lover. But, or you had Hera, meaning like the wife. But suddenly here's Eris, and Eris is like, no, I, you know, I'm none of those things. I'm a freaking force of nature. And that's what Eris says. I mean, Eris is, she is a divine warrior goddess. Now, one of my favorite things about Eris is that she was discovered right they say that as an asteroid or a point in the sky is discovered and named its consciousness begins to come into the worldly plane and so right i don't know if it's the same month or it's within a few months xena the warrior princess ended up on tv for any of you that that followed that show but it was like all of a sudden there was this energy of stepping into the warrior princess or the warrior queen or you know there was even this movie the warrior queen last year if, if some of you saw it this is a motif that is come it, it's time it's time for it to enter the culture and it's obviously not just only about women because it's really about the masculine and the feminine in everybody but since women have been, for the most part, the disenfranchised carriers of this, it's also really about women. So anyway, yesterday I suddenly was like, oh my God, all these planets are activating Aries right now. Mercury is about to go through all of Aries for the month of April and where Mercury is right now is at 27 degrees Aries, and as it goes to go retrograde, it will go back to Eris, and then it'll go back over all these other points connected to the asteroid. 
connected to uh, the eclipses. Okay, that was a lot of astrology, but I had to say it. So if all you remember from all of this is that what's happening this month is to try to take you into your freaking power. It's about finding the power from the inside out. And that if you've had a tendency that maybe even this Chiron wound that has been getting activated over these last you know, couple months here, if you've had a tendency to view things primarily as a victim, primarily as, oh my God, you know, I'm suffering more than anybody. This is terrible, da, 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 da. This energy is here to say, what are the concrete actions that can be taken to come back into your power and reclaim, not only reclaim your life, but all this energy of these eclipses would really say, if you want to be useful on the planet for the evolution of the planet, you can't do it without being in your power. So you're not, it's not even just, in, you're doing it so that you feel better. You're doing it because you end up carrying a kind of Shakti, a kind of energy that it's the energy that is where the planet wants to head next. That's the beauty of astrology is it's saying these configurations are showing the like the the musical score that's ahead of us next. If you think of it that all of all of existence is a kind of music, this is the next piece of music that this divine warrior energy is trying to emerge. And it gives an opportunity for anybody to access it and embody it. But the this all ties into tonight's eclipse because you don't even have to know yet how are you going to access that power in your life. All you have to know for tonight is what you're ready to let go of. 